It is 7 a.m. and we don't have any heat again and it's freezing outside. Look, I'm a dragon. I thought I fixed this yesterday at 6 a.m. in the morning when it was also freezing cold outside, but clearly it didn't work. I know the problem is this switch right here. When the fan kicks on, it's supposed to push this, which allows the propane to flow. It seems like after a day of driving, it like stops working and almost like this gets like rattled around or something. And I don't have an air compressor. I would love to just blow some air on this to get all the dust out of there. So in desperate times, call for desperate measures. <laughs> How many PSI you guys think that is? sound that we're looking for. Am I gonna have to go out there and take that stupid thing out and blow on it every single morning when I'm freezing my butt off? If that's what the next 40 days look like, it's gonna be brutal. We're in the middle of traveling to 48 states in 48 days and hiding a bag of the best coffee in the world in each state. Today is day eight. We're in state number 12. We're waking up in Indiana and we have a ton of driving to do today. Thank you guys for letting us park our Airstream oh, over yeah, last no night. Really appreciate it. Do you drink coffee? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, we're brewing up some really special coffee in the Airstream if you want me to bring you one. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. <laughs> we got our first customer of the day, honey. I genuinely love nothing more than having the opportunity to make a coffee for someone. For me, it's like, like, imagine if you met someone that had only ever ate microwavable meals in their life, and you had the opportunity to cook for them their first real meal in a pan or an oven. That's what it kind of feels like when we get to make coffee, and it gives someone that experience and put that cup in their hand and let them take a sip on what coffee can actually taste like and how it can actually taste good, and you don't need to basically like, dilute it down with sugar and milk. Dude, you have to return those crocs. What? They're so bad, dude. I love them, honey. Dude. On the left. On the left. Really good. Special delivery. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. You're I appreciate oh, awesome. that. And, it is very uh, tasty. So we, much. We, it is so delicious to you. Good, I like good, it. Good. Usually I put a little cream in mine, but I don't think I need it for this. It is very well, good. Enjoy. Oh. It now takes two people to change a toddler. The trick is to make the things that she I usually has. Uh, a really bad time doing, make them as fun as possible. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get rocking. Let's get rocking and rolling. This is where the driving gets tough, not because of the roads or anything like that, but just because for the next few hours, days, we're gonna be staring at nothing but corn. Fields and fields of corn. So we're in central Indiana right now. We're heading northwest into Illinois. The goal for today is to try and find the most beautiful campsite that we can. For the last two or three nights, we've stayed at Walmarts, gas stations, places like that. So we are just about to hit Illinois, but don't you worry, Indiana folks, we're not forgetting you. We're gonna make a quick pit stop here in about 15 minutes to go hide at the Indiana coffee bag. Do you guys like my new gas station shades? How much were they, like $3? <laughs> Something that we've seen at this point in the scavenger hunt is the people who are getting the coffee bags are basically the ones who rush there first. They're usually gone within 30 minutes. Yeah. This is gonna be one that someone's gonna have to make a trek for. So we are in Covington, Indiana. Or Covington, yeah, we, sure. we don't know which one. We are basically in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but we did find this Covington City Park. And in this park, there's this bridge. And under this bridge is where we're gonna hide this coffee. It reminds me of Jumanji. It does, dude, doesn't it? This is honestly the best part of this whole thing. Like, this is so fun. And here's a little hint. You guys see this piece of wood right here? We'll kind of just like lay it on top. So you know that underneath there, you just gotta move those rocks out of the way. And there's a thousand dollar bag of coffee in there for you. Whoever comes and finds this bag of coffee, just make sure that you take a photo or a video because I want to give you some credit because shout out to you if you made the ride out here. Oh, my foot's soaking wet. Peace. Can you do that? Peace. Everything that I've heard is that these Midwestern states are a little weird with water. Definitely hooking up the water to our three stage filter. This filters three different things, rust and large sediment, small sediment and viruses and bacteria. Tonight we think we got a spot that's on a lake. It's off grid. We're gonna be boondocking, so no hookups. So I'm just gonna get us all prepared to do that. Let me take a picture. You wanna take a picture? Yeah. 
We have officially entered Illinois, which is our 12th state on this adventure. That means that we're one quarter of the way to our goal. Today's day eight of our journey. So you may be thinking, oh, you're, you know, you're making good time. Eight days, you've done 12 states. You're a little ahead of one a day. The problem is these states are starting to get larger and larger as we get more and more west. <laughs> So we just got word that someone from New York City found the coffee bag. You guys, these are my favorite moments of this whole journey. 100%. The Watching second you guys find these bike pack, like we we're having a little bit of a low moment. We're just driving through corn, but getting that video just turned it all is around. Everything that is everything. So a little fun facts about this guy right here. He will consume things without even realizing that he's doing it. What did I eat? He drank my coffee this morning. Oh yeah, but that happens every day. It does happen every day and I'm not happy about it, honey. <laughs> Luckily, we have an abundance of coffee, but we don't really have time to stop and make it right now. So we might have to just get some gas station coffee. I am very excited for our first ever episode of Coffee Snobs reviewing gas station coffees. I'm very excited about this. Let's start this with the thing that resembles coffee the most, which is Monster Cold Brew. <laughs> origin, this is hilarious. Origin imported. <laughs> so origin means the farm, or you, you at least usually get the country it comes from. Now this says imported. So it could all, be anywhere. all coffee's imported. Coffee doesn't grow in the United States. So of course it's imported. What's your first tasting note? You want to say Trash. It? I was gonna say I was gonna say vomit. I never want to taste that yeah, in my mouth again. La Colombe. We're going for the mocha. This is the mocha. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, this one's mine. It tastes like the frosting of a chocolate donut. All right, so for me, the monster is a one. It cannot get any worse than that. Okay. That's like a six. Okay, next up, Dunkin' Donuts cake batter donut. It's like ooh, ooh. <clears throat> Wait, I, I like the closer I get, the more I don't want to take a sip. Right there. Three seconds in, it really oh, hits. no, dude. It tastes like pee. What are you guys doing? Starbucks Frappuccino Pumpkin Spice Latte Limited Edition. It smells like eggnog. Whoa, that's really, really sweet. But it's good. It's not bad. It tastes like eggnog. It tastes it? like eggnog and apple pie. Well, that concludes our first ever reviewing coffee by two coffee snobs while sitting in a car driving through the Midwest with nothing around us but cornfields. <laughs> this, is, this is what we had to do today to brighten our day a little bit. <laughs> We're almost at our campsite. We're currently driving through Sterling, Illinois, a place that I feel like you wouldn't really come here unless it was a really, really sweet camping spot. Or unless you went to go to Hardee's. We just drove by Hardee's. What's a Hardee's? I'm honestly shocked that Jordan hasn't killed me at this point in our uh, nine days of travel because I have to be honest, sometimes I can be the worst navigator. I'm sorry, honey. I mean, it's equally my fault too. Like we're both going through this together. The and only times I've gotten frustrated is three times Kaylee's accidentally changed the location on where we're going in the GPS. And then we just end up somewhere that we're not going. It's I'm like, usually, honey, I'm like trying happened? to figure out where to get food. <laughs> I actually just gave Sade her first screen time of this trip. If I wasn't looking for the stupid food, then she wouldn't have needed it. <laughs> Kaylee didn't uh, tell me that she was looking for food until that moment where you she know, was on camera. You know, it just dawned on me. That's she was like, trying to blame me. She's like, honey, you didn't know who That was you. I didn't blame you. <laughs> you I, just, I, was saying, I was saying, I was saying, I was trying to help you navigate. Listen, I was, listen I was, I, we could have gone to Hardee's. I would have been totally down. Is still, I still don't know what that is. Wow, look at all of this dang corn, dude. It's just corn forever. So I put on Tangled, and somehow within like the first two minutes, she changed it to Chinese. And she's been watching it like this the whole time and hasn't said a thing. Apparently, this is where the camp spot is in the middle of this cornfield, according to the GPS. Oh boy. I think we found the spot. Wow, you guys, this is beautiful right now. Check this out. Woo! Finally, we have a place all to ourselves. I mean, there is a highway behind us that's a little loud, but just a big old cornfield, little body of water. 
It's cold. <laughs> oh, it's on your face. <laughs> oh my gosh, this place is so stunning. I feel like this is the first time I actually want to open up our blinds at night because we're usually at a truck stop. But this is just like amazing right now. You gonna come push me, baby, in the wagon? Uh, too heavy? Too heavy? No. What are you saying? Too heavy. Too heavy? Yeah. You want me to push you? Nothing like a little chicken thighs and broccoli dinner. Nice and simple, nice and healthy. Sadie is in the bathroom right now, brushing her teeth by herself. Oh, that deserves a fist pound, dude. You're amazing, baby. <sighs> well, it's cold in here again. The heat keeps kicking on and off, and I have to go and rattle the thing to get to kick back on. It's gonna be another cold, cold night. It's brutal, you guys. This is just like messing with my sleep, I feel like. You gotta do what I gotta do to keep it warm in here. So I'll be waking up a few times through the night just to get the heat to kick back on and bring the temperature back up, but wish me luck. See you guys tomorrow. What an American holly tree is. This looks like a holly tree. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh yes. Yes. I got it. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. I never win anything. I never win anything. Holy cow. Yes! <laughs> I got it. You looking for coffee? Found it. <laughs> Thank you, Morning Movement. Love my coffee. Really appreciate you coming to Louisville. And thanks, Jordan. Thank you, Kayla. Thank you, Sadie. Sadie, we love you. Thank you.